Okay, Fish and Freaks, project Woodsman Wall is underway. You check out right here. I have marked studs. I've actually got one board attached down there, but that's just to see if the nails will hold. Compressor is out. Tools, all tools are out. There was a fishing freak up at the Home Depot. Me and OSG just got back from there. We've got plenty of this wood. It's pretty cool. You know, most people I see that do these wooden walls, they do them in like different kinds of wood. So a lot of people actually just, they use pallets. Literally, like this stuff right here. That stuff right there is what things are shipped on. So you can break them apart, you can cut them up, and you can make your walls out of that. It's a cool look, but here's the problem with that at our house. Look at this right here. The whole house is like shiplap. I mean, we got just plethoras of all that. And then if we go inside and we look at the floor, let's wait for that white balance to get normal. The floor is actually the same kind of look. It's not real wood. It's plastic. It's vinyl, actually. And some people even use this on walls. But what we're doing is going for that log cabin look. The treehouse look, essentially, it's the same kind of wood that's on the outside. It's cedar, it's stained cedar. So it's gonna look really cool. And we're gonna put shelving on it. We're gonna put our fishes on it. Maybe even a few furry animals, I don't know. Stuff like this, lures, maybe some stuff that you guys have sent in that fits the whole woodsman kind of deal, if you guys get my drift. So if any of y'all are like interested in the actual building of it and how it goes down, because I've been doing a ton of research. I'll be posting that on the other channel, the Lake Life channel. That'll be linked below where you guys can follow that. So me and OSG are gonna be working on a lot of stuff like this. But if you're just a fan of the fishing channel, I'm going to basically just give you guys short updates on it. Eventually, we're gonna be filming right here. It's gonna be all set up. We're gonna have a nice table right here. That's gonna be another thing we're gonna work on. I'm in full woodsman mode, guys. Like wood crafting, everything. I'm getting the tools, I'm building a workbench. It's all going down. This room's gonna be a special place. It already is. I just want my hands to be involved in it. Just get it going, build it. Smell the cedar, feel the warmth of the wood. So I've gotta go work on this, guys, and then I've gotta pack and take off for Minnesota. Now, I just came back from there, from fishing up in Canada, basically around the Minnesota. Same type of deal, 100 degrees here. Fishing is tough. Looks like we're heading up north. So we literally left from there from my little bass cave to just one of the most impressive places I've ever been in my life. This is a residence right here. This is Guggen Week, all right guys? And we are staying uh, up in Minnesota this week and doing some filming. The crew's here, um, John's in there, Lunkers is over there, Flair's here, and we're all getting ready. I'm just kind of hanging out right now, but I am getting so inspired. I just did a, a tour of this place. You know, me and Stephanie have been trying to come up with different um, inspirational things for, for the tree house, like the wood and uh, our trees and everything. Just look at this, guys. Look, like, that's where we're staying. Come with me down here. Like, this is all just one place. It keeps going on. Look at this beautiful wood. I wouldn't normally, you know, if I didn't have a wooden house, I wouldn't nor normally notice this, but it is, man, it's just so beautiful. Just outstanding, man. Just getting that awesome lake house vibe up in minnesota man that lake life is real beautiful calm evening on the lake right now that is too cool well you guys have seen all of the red hot recipes that i've done uh that actually came from the guy that lives here that's colton that's winston's camera guy this cabin right here is like is it original it was originally on the property it was eventually bulldoze hey john so this cabin was redone exactly like it it was originally supposed to be. And this is what really gave me inspiration for the treehouse. Of course, you know, me and Stephanie aren't loaded or anything, but like, just to kind of get examples, I want to try to mimic this. I love these kind of lights, you know what I'm ta talking about? Like that lodge look. And of course the inside's incredible. Like the smell in here, I wish you guys could smell it. It just smells like cedar and all sorts of awesome Great woods from the wilderness. Okay, we are gonna exit right there from a beautiful sunset in Minnesota. I wanted to show you guys a little bit more up there from Guggen Week, but something I figured out is I'm not very good at 
multitasking. I've actually figured out that in the last couple years of my life. It's always hard for me to vlog what's going on at Guggen Week. So anyways, you can go and check that out. I have a mosquito biting me right now. I have mosquitoes living in my garage. I haven't pinpointed exactly where they're coming from, but I'm gonna figure this out. One of many house problems. I got so much inspiration um, and had such a good time and Colton, he's such a down to earth dude. Great, great outdoorsman, but just super down to earth, great guy. Um, big shout out to Colton for letting us stay there at that just awesome place. But what it did was it gave me great inspiration and I have come back to the tree house with OSG and I have been working like a chipmunk to get, get a little bit of that into this house and that's what I wanted to show you guys. I know OSG has been working on stuff. Let's go check in with her and see what she's got going on. Hey honey. Hey. Oh, you're going to town in here. I am going to town. Oh, hang on, we, we don't want to get a copyright strike here. Wow, it smells like paint fumes in here. Yeah, I'm, I've been taking breaks, so I've been doing a little bit out of time, so I'm not in here for like hours at a time. I was just telling the fish and freaks, I've been in a wood carving mood and a, I've been like a chipmunk <laughs> working. You meanwhile, have. Meanwhile, I've been in like baby mode. This is little Amory's nursery, guys. She got this bed painted. Actually, I think her mom painted this My bed. Mom did that. Give a shout out to uh, OSG's mom for uh, getting that awesome thing done. And um, well, actually, funny story on the bed. Got these cool things. I destroyed the bed. Your mom bought the bed. I tried to take the paint off of it because it wasn't the color that we wanted. And then I destroyed it. That's right. Let's go to a <laughs> flash of that moment. Because oh. you were just sitting there in the sweltering 98 degree Texas heat, just a paintbrush on the ground. It wasn't looking so hot. Anyway, you got frustrated, had to pass it off to the Mons. Yeah, I got real frustrated. It was one of those moments, OSG had a moment. It's okay. <laughs> of frustration. We all had those. She kind of just forcibly said that, hey, I'm gonna paint the nursery another color. And I was like, what? What's wrong with the current color, honey? Like, what is, it's not that big of a difference. It's, it's like tan and light tan. It's actually gray. Okay, so my reasoning. Actually gray. You let can't me, even tell. Let me reason my way through this. With the pink curtains and the tan walls, it makes the entire room look pink. Because this tan that they chose has like a pink underground undertone to it. I disagree. It makes everything look pink. I think it's the light. It's that light. What well, is? So I'm kind of bright. So if it's all natural though. light. All you gotta do is change the light bulb. No. Not paint the whole room. I'm trying to lighten things up here. Well, I want to know from Fish does and Freaks. Does, sense. Do they like the new color? Okay, we can battle this. Fish and Freaks, if you have girlfriends, wives, chime in together right now. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Mm -hmm. What's the easier decision? Change the light bulb? No, that's not. Fish and Freaks, <laughs> I know you're on my side. No, we're looking at paint colors, not light colors. Well, let's change the question then. What do you think is better? Leaving the natural color that was in this house that's throughout the whole house and it matches everything woodsman-like and outdoorsy or change it a couple of shades down. She doesn't have to be living in a cabin. She, she can have her own girly room. She's gonna be a cabin dweller. <laughs> I know it. Speaking of cabin dwelling, I gotta show you what I've been working on. Now, Colton's house, the wood, old Kentucky barns, and, and they did have a bowling alley and a boat dock and a movie theater and all that fun stuff. But, you know what I didn't see? Is a fish wall, guys. A fish wall. I've been working on this so hard. This is what we got going on. Look behind me. Look at it. Look at it. So when we started this video, there was only a couple boards up. I came back, got to work like a chipmunk. And now look at it, y'all. Oh, man, the beauty. And this is what it's all about right here, y'all. If you guys have like really cool wooden signs or cool fish stuff you want to send in, or actually there's already some stuff that has been sent in, it's probably going to go up on this wall or I got to continue it over here. I want to turn this whole area into just fish land, fish bill, cabin like with that cabin feel. Woo! Man, it looks good. Minnesota had some great, awesome, inspiring stuff uh, for lake life, um, this wall and everything. But I want to hear from you guys if you see any kind of visions that would make this wall awesome. One of my one of my friends brought up 
maybe making some like natural driftwood branches or something that goes up and putting fish on. I mean, I'm talking like whole fish theme. Whatever comes to mind to you, let me know in the comments. I've actually really enjoyed working on this wood project and I'm probably gonna do some more. Do some tables, some desks. But you can follow along at the Lake Life Family Channel. Uh, I'll have it linked down below. That's me and OSG's family channel. Um, a lot of you have been going over there and watching, so thank you. And today is 4th of July, so if you guys are gonna get out on the water, um, go get crazy, have fun, make sure to be careful. And don't blow up your fingers, you need them for setting the hook. And that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for coming along for this cabin edition of LFG Fishing TV, and I'll see you back here soon, maybe with the wall on the next one.